Cater, we go to Wendell Middle School, just west of Twin Falls. A teacher there is bringing history to life and the community together for her students. Welcome to the Wendell Middle School Wax Museum. The person is frozen in time like a museum exhibit, and when they put push the button, the person comes to life. Push. Howdy, y'all. I'm Dolly Parton. I was born in 1946. The eighth grade wax figures bring famous historical figures to life, like Dolly Parton. Elvis Presley. Will you give me one thing? The old woman the new shoe. Helen Keller. And civil rights leader Janet Merguia. We are rich in culture, strong in family, faith, and service, and our dream to live the American dream. The, the thing that I really love the most about it is it's an element of theater that a lot of students don't have any um, experience with. Eighth grade teacher Elizabeth Pope puts on the project. They actually will dress up like that person. They'll write a skit and perform the skit. They'll create a museum exhibit with set materials and props around them. And then they will perform their skit numerous times um, for the community and for students and people who come to watch. Ben Franklin, Susan B. Anthony, and Rosie the Riveter, among others, have made appearances at past wax museums Pope spearheaded when she worked in other Idaho schools. She keeps bringing it back because she believes the kids get so much out of it. So from the researching to the, the, the setting up to the costume creation to the performance, um, it's it, they learn a lot that's not just out of a book. While Pope brings history to life for the students, she also brings the community together for the students. She organizes school family nights, including this year's fall festival. Hundreds turned out for the fun and games and to connect with teachers and staff. We know that having parents and community members in the school helps strengthen student achievement. And if history is a guide, the young wax figures will achieve greatness once again at the next wax museum. It blows me away. And that's probably the thing that, that makes me want to do the work every year is the way that a lot of the students just, they just blow everybody's minds. Elizabeth Pope, innovative educator. Now, this year's Wax Museum show will be in mid-May at the middle school. Pope says she gets a lot of help from the 8th grade team of teachers to bring it all together. If you'd like to nominate an innovative educator, just email us at innovativeeducator at ktbb.com and tell us how they're going above and beyond. Educators, if you'd like information on submitting an application for a classroom grant to help cover supplies or whatever you need, visit capedfoundation.org.